new construction house, HMH7 York modulating heat pump. Today I'm going to show you a project where we installed the HMH7 modulating outdoor unit with a York air handler. I'm going to talk about installation tips like low voltage wiring and how to actually wire up the installation kit that comes with the HMH7. And then also I'm going to talk about adding additional refrigerant and how I figure out how much refrigerant that I need to add additionally when you have more line sets than what the equipment is charged for. Hope you're ready to learn. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. Before we go to the new construction house, this is an HMH7. This is a three ton. You see it says 36. Something I want you to know about the low voltage wiring is in the manual, it says you should use a 16 slash five. So five conductor, 16 aug for the low voltage wiring. So that means from the air handler to the outdoor unit, the HMH7, you should have a 16 times five wire, as well as your line voltage wiring to the outdoor condenser. But you don't have to have a 16 times five. You can use thermostat wiring. The reason I'm telling you this is because you can save a lot of money. There's a big price difference between a roll of thermostat wiring and 16 aug slash five wire. This is a 250 foot roll of 18 eight wire. So it's got eight conductors. There are 18 aug and you can see right here, eight total conductors, 250 foot roll. Just for an example, look at the price difference. 250 foot roll, that thermostat wire is $125. 250 foot roll, that 16 aug slash five, that five conductor is $425, $24. So you can save $300 in wire just by going with thermostat wire. Let's go take a look at the new construction house and the new split system. Here is the wiring diagram for an HMH7. This is the installation kit. And this is a wiring diagram that comes with the installation kit. These are field installed relays on a plate. And I just finished reading this diagram and wiring this up. So I've got to make this look a little bit more presentable and wire tie it and then mount this relay, this little plate here inside the air handler. So this is a variable speed air handler. It's an AVC. I'll show you the outdoor unit. And I'm excited. Let me turn a light on here though so you can see a little bit better. New install looks great, all hard duck. And uh, this is the wiring diagram. Don't get overwhelmed, just do wire for wire. And uh, this is the only thing I did not hook up. This was a yellow wire that is not hooked up right here on the normally open uh, side of this relay. I'm assuming that's where that yellow would go, but it's not hooked up. So there were four wires on this side and five wires on this side. So you can see one, two, three, four, five on this one. One, two, three, four wires. So make sure you know which relay you're supposed to hook up and just do one at, one at a time. I did the outdoor section wires, the indoor section, thermostat. So, and then count, make sure you got enough wires underneath each wire nut. And that's how I did it. Also, I'm very happy because I'm guessing York makes that plate that way with those four holes. It includes the screws that you can use to mount this plate. So, very excited about that. Here is the relay installed inside of the air handler. Looks good. And here's what you do with all the wires. You just cram them in there. <laughs> little backup view of the ductwork and the indoor air handler looks good there's where the return goes down in the closet looks really good drain for the air handler little condensate pump all right so you got the return right here looking good thermostat wiring put the thermostat on go ahead and get it on here Outdoor unit, got the gauges on there, filter dryer installed, make sure I got the power on, okay, definitely need to put the power, the disconnect in, beautiful, 18 sear, it's a four ton, 
48,000 BTU. HMH7. Got two 200 amp panels in this house. We're in the basement. This is the 50 amp breaker with a number eight wire that goes to the outdoor unit. And then in this panel, we have a 60 amp breaker with a number six wire that feeds the indoor air handler. Above the garage, got some lights in here now so I can see the equipment and the duct work. Looks good. Make sure my breakers are on. The disconnect's plugged in. Looks pretty good. All right, turn it on. Cooling. Outdoor unit just came on and nothing on the board. But everything's wired up. Got my gauges. I'm about to hook the gauges up. Whenever you're going to charge and add additional refrigerant because you have line sets that are longer than 15 foot, you need to refer to the installation manual. That's why I downloaded it off of HVAC Navigator. This is my model number here, HMH72B48, because it's 48,000 BTU. It tells you the maximum pipe length is 246 feet, maximum height difference 98 feet. And then right here is the number I'm looking for when I'm adding additional refrigerant exceeding the 15 foot that the unit is charged for. So we're gonna add 0.60 per foot, okay? So what we do is we come to our calculator here, and since I had 80 feet, and I am going to subtract 15, which is gonna be 65. So I'm gonna have 65 feet, and I'm gonna 65 times 0.60, 39, and then we're going to divide that by 16 to figure out how many pounds, 39 ounces. So I'm going to add about two and a half pounds. And that's what I did when I was charging this equipment. I want you to see this. I also want you to see one more thing. So we went over piping considerations. I want to go over the electrical data right here. You see for my unit, you have this information here, which is great for figuring out the wire size, which is amazing. You've got your... Uh, line voltage wire and you got your low voltage wire and for all three models well four models you got the two ton three ton four ton and five ton hmh7 you've got a five times 16 aug wire so you got 16 aug wire and you got five of those and that's what your low voltage wiring is made up of and then you've got your circuit breaker over here you see i had that 50 amp uh, max over current protection so i've got a 50 amp double pole breaker to supply my 230 volts to my unit. And then it shows you right here, check this out. Three times eight aug. So you've got your two power, your one ground. And then if you had a three ton, it would be 10 aug. Okay, so this is about 30 amps, see that? Minimum circuit, and then you've got your max. So this is great information. Do not forget, you have this information at your fingertips, especially if you're a dealer, you're a York dealer, and you have a distributor uh, you can get login information for HVAC Navigator and then have this. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you have a question, leave it down in the comments because questions can become content. Before you leave, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.